I can't believe it. I'm pretty sure Gavin, the developer of Big Paintball, hates me. Why, you ask? Because he only opens his games when I'm going to bed! It's okay, Gavin. I forgive you. Yes, your world doesn't have to revolve around me. Well, you know the drill. <laughs> this is what I saw. Upon entering the game, I saw the same things. Choose your gun, crates, streaks, and a brand new map. Except this time, I was alone. No one to be found. Deserted on what looks like to be the new Bridge 2019 map. On the bright side, I have no one to bother me while I explore. Let's start with the ominous looking hole. I jump inside and see two long and bendy pathways. These pathways will be different later in the video, so pay attention. I swear, walking down these pathways felt like watching Frodo Baggins walk all the way to Mount Doom. It just never ended. When I finally reached the other side, I was greeted by an identical base to mine. This map is still in development, so I imagine it's going to change to red in the future. With the underground explored, I wanted to take a look above ground. I noticed new trees that you could see through, beautiful glass pillars, and some really cool rocks that almost hid the path to the back of the castle. After a quick parkour, I saw a little man in the distance. Maybe I wasn't so alone after all. With nothing at the back, I returned to the front and admired the view. That's when I was greeted by this little fellow. He may not be real, but he certainly made me feel less lonely. The bridge itself was beautiful. Take note of how it looks because this too will change later in the video. After my first steps onto the bridge and meeting a new friend, I decided it was time to find real friends. So I jumped back in and finally found some friends to play with. The map performed pretty well. Getting tags wasn't too difficult, but then Big Paintball restarted. And when I rejoined, the bridge had gotten massive. Since the map was so large and now very open, trying to get across the bridge without getting tagged seemed almost impossible. I tried desperately to do some sniping because I knew how difficult it would be to cross, but with no protection of any kind, I just kept getting tagged. And I wasn't the only one. Just look at the chaos happening on the bridge. Bodies were falling everywhere. I thought to myself, if I'm gonna have any chance of getting over there, I need to go underground. But that's when I saw it. It had changed. The path was no longer two tunnels, but one large straight tunnel to the other side. Thank Thankfully, I made it unharmed and it was now time to get in a few sneaky kills from behind. That is, until my plan was ruined by Gavin for launching a nuke prematurely. But wait, is that our first nuke leak? The nuke will be getting changed, but to finally see it launched in Big Paintball 2 is awesome! As the game continued to fill up, you can really start to see just how insane 32 players is gonna be. Look at all the paint flying! When I got tagged, I noticed something new. My name was now GOLD! I quickly asked the chat to see if anyone else had a gold name and as expected the gold name doesn't symbolize that it's you it symbolizes that it's a partner of big games which means if you tag a youtuber you will know about it multiple tags later big table 2 restarted again at first glance I didn't really see anything. The spawn was the same. The bridge was the same. Getting sniped by Gavin was the same. Sniping him back was the same. So what in the world was different? The walls. The walls had increased in size. This was a great change because now we had slightly more cover from the 200 rays of paint that flooded the map, except for the fact that I could still shoot through it. Well, on one side anyway. With the bridge getting flooded by the enemy team, I had to start thinning out their numbers unless we wanted to get spawn camped. When Preston, the developer of Pet Simulator X, tagged me, but he was using a rifle. I thought to myself, you know what? That's actually not a half bad idea. With a map this big, getting the extra range on your weapon is important. So I switched over to the rifle and that made a world of a difference. Even though the bridge was still very hard to cross, hitting the enemies on the other side was much easier. As long as you're not like me and jump off the side of the map. With the leaderboard this size, I knew there had to be loads of people. How in the world are we supposed to fit 32 of them at the top? The answer is simple. You don't. <laughs> just kept getting worse and worse. I have no idea how he's gonna fix this one. With the bridge in absolute chaos, I decided it was time to go downstairs again to get past. But my worst nightmare had come true. It was time for a long distance battle. Back and forth I weaved, dodging bullets from left to right. Then a new challenger appeared. I panicked, lost focus, and got tagged. But I knew they were still coming. So I went back down, started shooting, and saw not one, not two, but 
five enemies coming my way. It's easy to assume I didn't win this one, but I wasn't about to give up. If I did, five players from the other team would make their way into our base and snipe us all from behind. Carefully, I went back down into the hole, used the pillar as a shield, and died. That didn't work, did it? But he was now super close and I wasn't about to let my team down like that. I went back down and noticed he hadn't come up. He was sitting there waiting for me to come down. He thinks he can spawn camp me? The spawn camp queen? <laughs> As if! I took out his teammate, then very carefully turned to take out the campers. We were safe. That is, until a server restart. What could be changing now? The bridge! It now had a mini bridge right on top of it. And let me tell you, I really like this change. It makes getting across way easier and gives you more protection from the hundreds of oncoming bullets. Since it had been a while since I last tried, I decided to give the radar a go. And to my surprise, it actually worked. Now what I noticed upon reviewing this footage is that if you can see the enemy and they're not hiding behind a wall, the purple diamond won't actually show above their head. But any hidden enemies are now identifiable. As I was making my way across the bridge, I noticed a little hiding hole. But just before I could get there, bang, I got tagged. But when I finally managed to get inside, I decided this was my new home. I felt like the grumpy old troll who lived under the bridge. I had a party, got loads of tags, and it genuinely became my favorite spot to spawn camp. It was only slightly more fun than hiding in plain sight, taking unexpected victims from right inside their base, especially when Monkey knew I was there but just couldn't manage to tag me. Since I now had enough for a drone, I tried to spawn it, and I was not expecting this. This is what you would see if you were about to spawn a sentry in, but my goodness, this looks way cooler than it does in the original paintball. Since it was getting pretty late, I decided that it was time for me to head to bed. <laughs> It's 1 a.m. Why does this game always open when I'm half asleep? Apparently, a few things had changed. After Gavin gave me max sass for being awake, he graciously agreed to let me stay, if he could snipe me. After getting knocked off my feet numerous times, I wanted to explore the changes. Seems the tunnel was now blocked off, and my home was gone? I am absolutely heartbroken, shattered, enraged. Not only did you take away my home, but after a lovely face to face, you laugh at my demise? No more Mrs. Nice Link. That's what you get. His acknowledgement of my quick reaction definitely made me feel better, but it wasn't enough. When Gavin noticed he broke the leaderboard, I knew this was my opportunity. He restarted the game and yep. The leaderboard was working. <laughs> A sassy message and multiple quick tags later, it was time for the game to shut down. See you next time, Big Paintball 2.